morning on day one, he just kind of pockets I'm searching. Maybe 10, 15 trees in this thing, mature trees. But you can see there's a bed from an elk the day before. And uh, probably a cow and a calf, a smaller bed right there. Tracks around, but you can see there's just, there's no way, even in a helicopter or an airplane or a drone, that you're going to find a bull that wants to hide if he's hurt. <clears throat> I just hope he's recovered if I don't find him. It's hard for me to imagine an animal going this far, this long, especially in these brutal conditions we've had. Last night was another night of super high winds in the 50, 60 mile an hour range, driving snow. and It's tough to imagine anything surviving and is really healthy, let alone maybe wounded, hopefully not mortally. Time to press on, I to keep moving. Phones don't last long when the batteries uh, get cold. I don't know how cold it is up here, but it's cold. And if I don't keep moving, I get cold. <laughs>